Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners, a step-by-step -step guide to process simulation. In this tutorial, uh, let us understand how to utilize this pull-in and pull-out operations which is available in Super Pro Designer. Uh, basically, this is uh, one of the transfer operation. Uh, previously, in one of the video, I clearly explained uh, the different transfer options available that is charge, transfer in, transfer out and uh, next very important thing is pull-in and pull-out. So when do we use this pull-in and pull-out operation? When we have some specific requirement, for example, let's say I need to have some concentration of this particular uh, substrate in the media, then I can go with this pull-in operation. So this example again available in a process library uh, that is miscellaneous folder, you can go uh, down and you can check that is pull uh, operation and uh, this file has three cases. Uh, basically the problem is we have 10 uh, weight percent uh, uh, NaOH that need to be diluted to 23 gram per liter and uh, we are adding 1000 uh, liter of uh, water. That is the uh, total uh, solution we are going to arrive. Let us see how to utilize this pull in and pull out operation to uh, in a different ways so that uh, these option could also be used in real time simulation. First let us go with the case one. Uh, in this case one uh, it is very simple. Uh, a simple uh, uh, mixing vessel configuration is there that we can utilize. Before proceeding let us register the pure component. As such in this the pure component uh, is only one that is water and uh, that is already by default registered in the software and we need a stock mixture that is 10 weight percent uh, NaOH is required and that is you know need to register as a new component if you just scroll down uh, 10 weight percent NaOH is already available we can just register this. So yes and it is asking us because uh, before registering any stock mixture we need to register the components of the stock mixture as a pure components. But in this case I have not registered so the software is asking uh, do I need to register this as a stock mixture click yes then it will be automatically registered as one of the pure component. I will just show you go to task pure components and register you can notice here NaOH is registered as one of the component click ok. So let us select the mixing vessel. So I will select go to this storage tank, bulk, batch and blending tank. I will place it here and we can add the water and we can add NaOH and we can have an output stream. We can have an output stream. So let us rename this one, rename this as water and this we can rename it as uh, NaOH that is 10 uh, percent 10 percent that is weight by weight and uh, this is again we can rename this as a product product click ok. So now let us initiate this one uh, this is completely water and we need to charge a thousand liter sorry thousand liter so select the volumetric flow rate thousand liter click ok rest all we go with default value and here we need to uh, charge the uh, NaOH that is stock mixture so I have chosen stock mixture select it. But one more problem we do not know how much NaOH need to be charged to get 23 gram per liter. So that is where we are going to use pull in operation to calculate that one that is the reason we select auto just here click ok. And what are the operations required so add operation uh, that is first we need to charge the water charge the water and we need to pull in the NaOH uh, based on the criteria. So now let us go and initiate this one charge charge so uh, uh, what is the stream that is water stream water stream how much we already set up in the uh, particular uh, water stream so I will just select use amount on the stream if not then you have to set it by uh, set by user and uh, here we will use uh, setup time as 0 and process time as uh, some 30 minutes and we go to the next operation next operation here in the next operation the pull in stream is NaOH 10% uh, weight by weight and uh, we based on some criteria we need to uh, draw it. So that is what we go to advanced option here set final concentration what is the component that is NaOH and concentration is 23 gram per liter. So based upon this criteria from the stream NaOH the quantity of that particular 10% NaOH will be drawn click ok and there are no other operations click ok and simulate it. So you can notice 
uh, it is solved successfully if you could open uh, this is the what 23 uh, gram per liter of NaOH and also if you open this NaOH stream 294.96 kg per batch of NaOH is drawn. And one more thing interesting thing you can notice here I have didn't use transfer out operation here basically what happens many a times like not many times every time whenever we use any operation especially in batch operation when you charge something we have to add the transfer out operation to take out the contents otherwise it will show you an error but in this case it is not showing an error when it will not show the error when the transfer out that particular port is connected to this particular hollow triangle that is what you can see this is a default port I will just delete this and I will try to connect it to other port for example I will connect it to other port and try to simulate you can notice here it is showing an error S101 output to procedure P1 is not currently being used by any operation so only when it is connected to default port so software understand that the contents need to be transferred out that time it will not show this uh, but in this case you need to add the transfer out operation just I will go back and add one transfer out operation here transfer out operation here click ok and I will select it operation data transfer out and my transfer out stream is S101 rest all we go with the default values click ok and simulate it so you can now that error is resolved. So you should understand that whenever you are now you are connected to other than this uh, like, uh, uh, black, like this triangle that uh, default output port then you have to use the transfer out operation. So when you are directly connected to this particular port you no need to bother. So you just simulate it you can see here uh, the transfer out operation is just added I did not delete the transfer out operation that is the error it is showing. So I will go back here and delete this transfer out operation and now you, you simulate it you can understand you do not find this error. Hope you understood how did we use this pull in operation first we charge the water then we pulled in uh, this particular uh, NaOH based on the criteria that uh, the output solution should have 23 gram per liter of NaOH. So let us uh, study the one more case of uh, uh, for example you have a storage tank we need to draw it from that particular storage tank let us go back and use one uh, again storage tank I will use one more blending tank or you can have a some uh, silo or storage tank you can have so a receiver I will have now use a some receiver tank some receiver tank so now I will have one more uh, storage tank that is bulk mixing and blending tank we will place it here uh, let us charge this particular tank with sodium hydroxide at 10 percent sodium hydroxide and we connect this to uh, any of this port and we charge the water here and again we use the default transfer out operation. Now uh, we will initiate this one uh, or rename first let us rename this particular operation that is this is NaOH uh, that is 10 percent 10 percent weight by weight and uh, this one is uh, 10 by is already existing. So uh, let us uh, rename it in different NaOH uh, percentage uh, that is 10 percent let us not put weight by weight click ok it is changed now and let us rename this as water it is already available so I will put it as water 1 and this let it be as such in a product stream. Uh, next we will initiate this one uh, the stock mixture we will add we will load something around 500 kg per batch of NaOH and click ok that is what we are loading and we will as it is a batch operation we need to charge it so we will charge it first and now from this tank we have to transfer out the contents to the another vessel based on the criteria. So if you use transfer out option I will just show you if I use transfer out option what will happen if I go here and select this transfer out option you do not have uh, any option to set based on criteria. So how much I need to transfer it out I do not know because that need to be transferred out based on some criteria. So transfer out will not help in this situation that is the reason we need to use something called as pull out operation pull out operation I will use this pull out operation pull out operation click ok let us understand how this pull out operation works. So go to this particular charge operation charge operation let us charge the NaOH 10 percent user amount on the stream. So uh, you can just set it up 0 minutes and you can have user time of some 30 minutes you can change it or else you can just go with the default values. The next operation is pull out operation this pull out operation which stream uh, that need to be used that is S103 and how much need to be pulled out I do not know that is the reason we go with uh, master slave relationship let us use something called master slave relationship click setup 
Now, what is the master operation? That is V103. This is the V103 is the master operation. And what is the single operation? That is, uh, see it is not showing the operation here. So, what is the mistake I have done? I have not add the operation in this particular vessel. First, let us add the operations here. Add the operation. And again here, a charge is required to draw the water. And one more operation is required because based on some criteria, I need to uh, uh, like uh, pull the contents or like transfer the contents in this particular vessel. So, I will use pull in operation. Click OK. Now, let us go back and uh, charge one. So, we can already set up. So, it is showing the values. Go to the next operation that is pull in uh, pull out operation S03. Now, master slave relationship. So, here set up uh, the vessel which is the vessel V103. Watch is the operation. Now, you can see pull in operation based upon the requirement of the pull in operation the pull out operation works in this particular storage tank click ok and click ok here yes now let us initiate this one this is charge so already we have set up in the water stream so user amount on the stream so we are in this case we have not set it up so let us go to this and uh, charge the water and it is again 1000 liter 1000 liter click ok now it is reflecting here so just you make 0 and some 30 minutes as process time and go to the next operation very important this pull in operation in this case we need to use this 103 to pull the contents so how much we need to pull so based upon the criteria that is set composition NaOH concentration 23 gram per liter click ok and click ok here so again you can notice i didn't add transfer out operation because by default it is connected to this particular default output port so let us simulate this one yes. it is showing series of errors uh, let us see what is this error it is telling no downstream operation as set to demand pull out operation no liquid found in the vessel pull out calculation sp2 uh, let us see it is showing uh, no liquid in the uh, stream or uh, it is uh, what is the mistake we have done let us go back to this yes uh, we forgot to initiate this particular stream let us go back here and add NaOH to this one and I have I did I said if for air actually uh, we have to delete this for NaOH it is 500, 000, 500 kg per batch and now let us click ok and uh, try to solve yes it is resolved the same the mistake uh, important mistake we have done while initiating this one uh, I, I didn't choose the NaOH uh, so when I choose a stock mixer by default air was available I just cho uh, choose air and uh, input 500 kg of air that is the reason the software was showing an error uh, there was no liquid in the vessel so when I initiated when I added this particular component so automatically all the uh, like uh, 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 errors have been resolved please read them carefully so that you can understand better. So, uh, here what has happened? Uh, same thing, let us see the outcome. Uh, you can notice again 23 gram per liter and if you could notice this one, again same quantity uh, like uh, the total quantity is 294. So, here also in this case 294. So, the same quantity has been used but we have set up in different way. Uh, let us use when you want to draw from one particular tank to multiple sections, how do we use this pull out operation? Uh, let us go and again uh, have some uh, uh, blending tank you can take one blending tank here you can take one blending tank and we can have one more like two more blending tank go to this storage uh, blending tank i will use one blending tank here and uh, one more blending tank one more blending tank here so now uh, let us char this uh, uh, naoh uh, uh, to this particular tank naoh to this particular tank now uh, we can use two different ports to connect this NaOH, we will charge water here and also uh, this particular port we will try to connect uh, to this one more port here and uh, we will again charge water to this particular port. So we use default transfer out operation, default transfer out operation. So now uh, let us initiate this particular stream, uh, again we use stock mixture that is NaOH but uh, based upon the demand in these two uh, like procedures, let NaOH be drawn from this one. So, let us select auto adjust, you can notice it has changed to 100 kg, based on the requirement it will automatically change. So, let us add the operation that is we need to charge it and now two tanks are available in the downstream. So, let us use two pull out operations, two pull out operations, click ok, let us charge this operation, 
charge again using this particular as 103 i didn't rename it let our user amount on the stream and let us go with the default values and click next the first pull out operation so how much need to be pulled out i don't know based upon the requirement in the v105 uh, that is the reason we go with master slave relationship so that is v105 and the max the single operation is uh, yes you can notice the same error i didn't set up this particular vessel so let us go back and add the operations here what is the operation required first charge operation next one is pull in operation here also we need to add charge operation and pull in operation click ok so now uh, let us initiate this particular we are already initiated let us go back and use operation pull out operation the first pull out operation is uh, uh, set by master slave relationship that is another procedure that is v105 the operation is pull in click ok so this is the uh, one and uh, we need to set up the next operation it is telling uh, valid port is not chosen so we need to select s104 yes, this is s104 yes, click the next operation click next operation that is v107 is the port again with master slave relationship so we need to select based on 106 and this is pull in operation click ok we set up in this particular reactor so, uh, sorry blending tank we go back and set up this one operation charge so let us charge uh, this 106 stream we have not initiated let go back and select the water and uh, here it is not showing here so where how do we need to set up here we need to set the 1000 liter volume 1000 liter volume let us go all with default values click next now we need to pull in so which is the pull in stream s yes, 104 based on some criteria that is the concentration of this naoh is 23 gram per liter 23 gram per liter click ok the only two operation click ok so next let us set up this one again charge again charge again the stream is s yes, 108 set up uh, this particular water need to be added you cannot add it here because here this set by user is chosen so volume 1000 liter rest all we go with default value click next the pull in operation click here s107 and based upon the criteria that is s10 uh, like uh, naoh concentration is 23 gram per liter click ok ok we have set up all the uh, streams and operation click it so you can notice there are no errors uh, you can notice here in this particular again 1 to uh, 8 9 the total stream and but if you could able to select here you can notice the same again 294 uh, kg per batch is chosen here also again 294 kg is chosen but when you see this particular stream you can notice more because two streams collectively it is become 589 i hope uh, you understood how to use this pull in and pull out operation in uh, uh, multiple ways uh, depending upon your the requirement process requirement you can set up in different ways uh, thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.